Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going today? So after much waiting and anticipation, I went out to the theater to check out Glass. And in my opinion, I think they should have changed the title of this movie to either Broken or Shattered. Because that's essentially what happened to all the subtlety that was set up from the other two movies that happened to take place in this universe. Because this movie was kind of loud and in your face, and it said to me that Shyamalan was trying a little bit too hard. And we all know when Shyamalan tries too hard, you get bullshit movies like The Happening. But for anybody that doesn't know this, I apologize if I'm spoiling anything for you, but this movie is essentially about characters from the movie Split coming together with other characters from the movie Unbreakable. As if most of you already didn't know that. And all three of them end up at a mental institution, and it just kind of turns out to be this weird little power struggle movie. Which, on paper, is an interesting concept, I'll admit that. And there's some other redeemable qualities about the movie, like James McAvoy, for example. He straight up kills it yet again, as I kind of expected, and he had even more room to play around with all of his characters in this particular movie. Bruce Willis actually actually acted in the movie, you know, like he gave a shit. And it's nice to know he still cares once in a while. Samuel L. Jackson was good for the most part, but again, he just, ugh, just lacked any subtlety that he had from Unbreakable. And very small detail, but a lot of the sound effects and some of the musical parts in the movie were actually pretty good. And I thought Sarah Paulson overacted a little bit, but it was kind of part of her character, so I was okay with it. But the movie just said way too much when it should have said nothing. Like, this movie really, really, really tried to tell you that this was the third in a series. And I can say that in general, just the execution of the entire movie as a whole just didn't... It, it just didn't mesh well. The security measures in this mental hospital are so fucking lax, it's almost laughable. And just the entire third act of the movie, like, just the placement of characters was just like, why is this even happening in this particular scenario? If you guys want to talk about specific details in the comment section, just go right ahead, just put a spoiler warning in there. But either way, the third act was kind of wacky. And again, on paper, some of the things in the movie actually sound really good when you say it out loud, but the execution just wasn't good. Like, at the end of the movie, I was like, okay, that's cool, but, like, why does that matter and why is that important? And I also feel as if the movie, if the movie had been about, like, the first 20 minutes of the movie and all the stuff that that covered, and it would have been, like, a slower build type of movie, I probably would have been more on board with that. But honestly, this whole movie it was just kind of a big swing and a miss. It again, what well, sounded like a good idea on paper. So I understand why it was made. It's just, I don't, it could have just been made so much better though. And also the lady that plays Elijah's mom in the movie looked really, really weird. And I felt like a bit of a superficial asshole, but then I Googled her name. And the face I saw in Google did not match the face that I saw in this movie, which means they definitely did some prosthetics on her. And that really wasn't necessary. Because in real life, she's 65 years old. So why, like that was pointless. Like why? Like all that did was just take me out of the movie more than I, Already was. But anyway, guys, this movie, it was an interesting idea, and there's definitely some good parts about it, and I probably would watch it again just for the sake of argument. But I gotta call it like I see it. This movie could have been done way better than it was. So for a score out of 10, I think I'm gonna give it a 3.8. Cool concept, cool idea, just, ugh, I'm afraid Shyamalan's gonna go into another period of him trying too hard. But hopefully this is a one-time thing. Hopefully he bounces right back. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Were you excited for it? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe, all that other bullshit that makes the channel look good, and I'll catch you guys later.